Hello everyone, my name is Dinesh. Today we are going to talk about static routing. So first we uh, let's understand what is static routing. So static routing is a manual configuration we do on router where we want to define the best path where wherever we want to send our data. So static routing gives a kind of uh, advantage. I can say this type of routing is very easy to implement in a small network, not in very big network. And this kind of uh, configuration we make to make our network secure also. So I can say it's, it's very pretty secure because there are no advertisement sends unlike uh, we see in dynamic routing protocols. This is very predictable because uh, the destination uh, network and the next stop always will be same what we define in the entry no other uh, any other algorithm is being used in static routing no extra resources required for that and if I talk about disadvantage so this is suitable for very small network not for very big and the configuration is complex when the network is very very big and when the network grows you need to create a lot of entries and uh, another disadvantage if any link goes down in middle of uh, your network in that case you need to find out so troubleshooting is also very difficult and again you need to recreate the route you need to redefine the route everywhere and uh, you need to give a direction to your, your data everywhere so let's understand basic configuration in Cisco IOS, uh, how to configure a static routing. So first uh, I have three routers here and connected to ISP and uh, primary and backup routes are also available. And we will talk about here static and uh, default routing, how to configure all this. So first I would configure Pune router. So before we start the configuration, I have checked all the connectivity between all the devices they are pinging now only we need to create a static routing so there is uh, no other configuration in all the devices only they are uh, configured with IP addresses and host name so you can ping all the devices and we can uh, now configure a static routing so Pune router has two networks directly connected one is 200.1.12.0 and one is 192.168.56.0 so when we configure a static routing first thing in our mind should come how many networks are directly connected to this device and how many networks are not directly connected to this device so there are two networks which are directly connected one is on serial 1 slash 0 and second is on FA01 which are not directly connected you need to tell uh, those entries in, in our router you need to configure okay these are the networks not directly connected and they are connected via the exit point maybe serial or maybe faster than so I can say I want to send packet to this site so I say two networks are directly connected so router knows about two networks these two networks are not directly connected one is 200.1.23 and 192.168.41.0 so these networks are not directly connected you need to tell about these entries in this router so let's configure Pune router and uh, we configure two static route uh, in Pune not in Bangalore here so I go to Pune router and start configuring IP route the destination network ID and subnet mask of the of the destination network and the exit point so Pune router says whenever I see packet for 200.1.23 I would send it out this interface serial 1 slash 0 second entry is 192.168.41.0 again that also connected and I can send packet via only that interface there is no additional other interface connected between Pune and Bangalore that's it on Pune router so two entries which we did not know uh, those networks are not directly connected we have configured here now I talk about Mumbai hub router so Mumbai hub router also says there are many 
networks directly connected i would say one two three and four networks are directly connected on mumbai hub which are not directly connected i would say is 192 168 56 and 41 so i need to create both the entries and i need to send packet toward separate port so one entry 41 which is connected via serial one slash one second entry is 56.0 which is connected via serial one slash zero on mumbai router also that's it go to bangalore router now Bangalore router also says there are two networks which are directly connected and other networks are not directly connected. I need to create entries for that. So Bangalore router says again my destination and network ID subnet mask connected via serial 1 slash 0 and 12.0 also connected via 1 slash 0. So that's it. If you want to verify now. Uh, you need to go to configuration mode uh, in privilege mode now show ip route static give this command and this will show you the number of entries we have configured s denotes here static and directly now they you see here we can see these are just like directly connected network but actually they are not directly connected they are connected via these interface if i see particular network entry there is a command show IP out to see that and this will show me 24 and here is the metric value of static administrative distance is 1 there is no metric in static routing there is the administrative distance 1 by default but this is a customizable we can change now we can verify I will I will jump to this PC and here so we can check the connectivity between 41 and 56 so i have two machines running over here uh, this is this machine i would come in 56 so i can say ip address 56 i would ping from this machine one ping 192.168.41. ip address of that machine is 10. as you can see the reply is coming from 10. I would go to another machine which is this 41 41 here and ping 192. Uh -huh. command which I did ping 192.168.56.10 this is ping so there is no issue while configuration we can see now I say Tracer. I want to see how the path is being followed here 192.168.41.10 as you see first my router 56.254 which is my default gateway here this is the default gateway then second is 12.3 which is Mumbai then Bangalore Bangalore is 23.2 and then rest last device is 41.10 okay so this much configuration required a uh, very basic configuration we need in our device to configure static but here uh, i say mumbai is connected via is uh, connected to isp and uh, mumbai wants all the traffic should go to isp so we need to create here a kind of route called default route which is the static but in this case we don't know who the destination is so there may be number of uh, networks uh, in in the in the cloud or in any any network we don't know anything about those networks we don't want to configure the number of entries per network in our device so we can create a kind of route which will provide you the there is no limit for that so this, this will provide you the solution if you don't know the destination and you want to send traffic out of your interface or out of your network toward isp then we can figure default route so we can say last resort gateway where all devices send data so if your mumbai hub router does not find any network in routing table and the last resort gateway will be default route 
and that will be toward ISP. There is backup route if primary route goes down then I have backup route and backup route is called here floating route. So this backup route we configure when primary goes down definitely we have another backup route that will automatically come up if the link between Mumbai hub and ISP goes down. So uh, the backup route here is called floating which will have highest administrative value than the current static route has. So let's configure first default route on Mumbai router. Again the configuration is simple. So I would go and I say one command IP route 000 where you are not defining any destination network ID and subnet mask and who is your neighbor. So IP address of neighbor is a mandatory here. Second I am going to configure floating route secondary. So in this case there is only extra keyword I will add along with the entry which is administrative distance value. The administrative distance for backup I am configuring is 5 here. So in static I am not in default primary I am not configuring so router will automatically take 1. In second I am configuring 5 so router will take 5 when 1 administrative distance value route will not be available in the table. Let's verify. Show IP route static. Here you can see S asterisk that says this is default route and the administrative value here is 1 and this is my neighbor. So ISP has some routes. I would go to ISP and verify what are the routes ISP has. Okay, 11.1.1.1. In Mumbai router, we don't have this show IP, show IP route. If you see 11.1.1.1, we don't have that. And we don't need to create entry for this network because we have default route. Let's ping then. So I would ping this IP and 11.1.1.1. As we can see, this is pinging and uh, pinging because router Mumbai router says I don't know anything about destination so whatever I don't know I am forwarding it to 123, 123.2 which is ISP. Now let's say if this link goes down so by default the AD value for this link is 1 this route is 1 now if this link goes down which is 5.7.0.0 primary what will happen in this case shut down and again verify show IP route static as you can see link went down but still you see there is a another link which came up with AD value 5 and again you can ping your destination as it is again the link comes up then your existing uh, route which has a highest AD value that will be removed automatically and primary link will be added automatically so we have talked about here static, the configuration of static routing. We have talked about default routing, how to configure default routing. So the connection between ISP and Mumbai, we configure here on Mumbai router default route and we have configured a backup route which is floating a route. I think that's it and I hope this has been informative for you. Thank you and bye bye.